Lisa and it's Saturday and today I thought I would give you a few of my tanning tips. Last night before I got in the shower I went ahead and decided that I was going to do just a little layer of self tan and so I did that and then after I did my tanning routine I was answering some of your comments and someone that had tried the tanner that I told them about asked me how I use it on my face. She didn't like it on her face and what did I use and all of that kind of stuff. So I thought it might be helpful if I do a little tanning tip session for mature skin. I think when you are young and you don't have imperfections and you just have that smooth, moisturized, non-wrinkly, non-crepey skin, I think you could probably slather on anything and it would work great. But I have tried so many products and I probably wouldn't be doing this if I had not found three things that I think are above average and that I really, really, really like. Now, they're not perfect. I'm not the perfect self-tanner. I do not go through the steps that I see other people go through. I cannot imagine spending that amount of time doing a tanning routine. That's This is gonna be quick and easy. Okay, so the first thing I do is, before I get in the shower that night, I go ahead and decide. You know, tonight I'm gonna do my tanning routine. And I always exfoliate in the shower, but the nights that I know I'm gonna be putting on this tanning, these tanning products, I will do a little extra. I've told you guys before, I love the Petty Scrubber. And they've also got it, you know, in the cellulite body scrubber. You can get several different versions. Basically what that is, is just a body sponge that already has the like body wash in it. And the sponge is, it's pretty, pretty intense, but not too crazy. It's just more than the typical, you know, loofah that I typically use. I will take that and I will scrub my feet real good. I will scrub my legs, my elbows, anywhere that I see tan kind of left over from the time before. And I try to take mental notes. Like last night, I remember thinking, you know, my feet got really tan last time. I must have put too much on the tops of my feet because they were getting kind of splotchy. So just kind of take some mental notes while you're in the shower. Scrub up real good. Don't use anything that's too moisturizing. Like don't put any body cream on. I know they tell you like before you get started, put lotion on your elbows and different things like that. I don't do that. I'll tell you what I do. I'm telling you, I do. I simplify it. After I've gotten out of the shower, I've scrubbed up real good. I decide which one I want to use. Now, I've got two different tanners here that I have been loving, loving. This is the first one. If you like more of a lotion, moisturizing tan, and it says gradual, gradual self tanner. It's from Quick Tan. You get this at Sally's. I'm sure you can probably get it from Amazon too. And I've got the medium, it's from Body Drench. That reminds me of the old tanning bed days. Do you remember that? You can see this one's probably, I'm holding it up to the light, it's probably more than half empty. This one really does give you a good tan quickly. It's not like oh, some of those that take two or three times. Really, after one time, you will see something. This one will give you that, you know, moisturized lotion tan. And if you want to do it every night, it's going to get more and more. And this is what I had always used in the past until I just, I told you guys when I got this at Ulta, I saw this Tan Lux Hydra Mousse. I decided to try this. And the first time I did it, I did it with just my hands. And that was fine. Actually, I don't think I made sure that I washed my palms really well after I did it. And I, I don't remember any big mishaps, but it did discolor my nails. And I hate that. So I went to Ulta, I think the next time, and I was looking at the different, my plan was actually to get just like rubber gloves, but I saw this mitt and you can guess what attracted me to it. I liked it. It has like a velvety side. It kind of reminded me of the Josie Moran that I used to use. And I like this even better than that. You just pump a little bit on this and I cannot get over how, 
I feel like the Josie Moran Big Mitt was not as just like a glove like this is. I feel like I can kind of get in between my fingers and toes and I start with my chest. And then the important thing to me is I smooth down like that, smooth down. And then when it comes to like my elbows, I don't put any like fresh product. I start with the fresh, like up here and down here. When it gets to around the wrists, the hands, and the knuckles and everything, that's when I'm ending this little section. So I work in sections. I would say chest like this, chest like this, then this area, and then when I'm you know done with it, then I'll go over the elbow. Then I'll put another pump, I'll do my arm, I make sure I kind of stop. You can see where I stop right here at the wrist. And then I do my, you know, kind of go like between my fingers a little bit. And this is like at the end of what I've got on here. And then I kind of go like that. And, you know, of course you'll have to switch this glove. This is just a good one. It's a really good one. And I haven't even washed it yet. It tells you to wash it after each one. And I always forget, but it really seems to come right off. I'm sure if I washed it there would be stuff in there. And it's up to you. I don't really spend a lot of time. Like last night I did because to me it's kind of like a personal thing. Nobody but John sees me, sees my stomach or anything, and he doesn't care right now if I'm tan. I mean, he likes it in the summertime. But last night I did take a pump and I kind of did my stomach and, you know, just a little bit on my body. But sometimes I don't do that because I just don't need it. I'm not, you know, showing anything. But this time I kind of did it for my psyche, you know, and I'm excited about spring and everything. Then for your legs, I do the top. Here, let me stand up. I've just got this cute little stool. It's like a folding stool and I got it in case I wanted to, I'm not sure I got it in case I wanted to ever do videos, just sit on a stool, but I haven't used it yet. Anyway, so what I do is I'm standing there and all the while I have my space heater on and I turn that on and shut the door before I even get in the shower that way my bathroom is all heated up okay so now I've done you know my legs and I rub down and oh goody goody the FedEx guys here and I take you know I kind of just do like this I have found that if you do a bunch of this it catches all of that uneven skin even though we have exfoliated there's still just like that keratosis and any little thing. You can see it accents them on my arms. I know it does back here. So, you know, I have found that it's better to go down and it just feels good. And this mousse is actually pretty moisturizing. Then when I'm through, I will go over my knees with the, you know, the very end. You think it's actually gone. I'll go over my knees and then I'll do another, maybe one or two pumps and I'll smooth down my legs like that. And then at the end, I smooth down to my feet and I try to make sure I'm getting, are you guys seeing this? But I make sure that I'm trying to get all around here because when I do Instagram and stuff, sometimes my feet show. That really does help. It makes shoes look so much prettier. I don't really do my back just because my back is not really showing yet. By the time I wear things that really show my back, I will usually probably be out in the sun already and get kind of like a little base tan. That is pretty much what I do. And then I basically do the same thing with the cream. I Even with the cream or the lotion, I try to you know, rub down. I don't, you know, do like this that much. I do that first. My hair's up in a towel. I do not, do not tan my face. I do not tan my neck. The reason is I scrub those all the time anyway, so it's not gonna last. I don't think it looks pretty on me. I would rather adjust my makeup. So as soon as I've started putting this tanner on, I started adding a little bit of the tawny into my foundation. Instead of using a neutral, I put a little bit of a warm tone in there and I just bump up my bronzer. And you know, I carry my makeup down my neck, what's left on the brush, and I do the same thing with my bronzer. I already have discoloration on my neck. I would prefer that to the tanner on my neck because it just doesn't, it wears off kind of weird and I just don't like it. So I would advise you not to use tanner on your face or on your neck if you are around my age because 
unless you just have the most perfectly smooth skin, it will catch on things, it will wear off funny, and I just think it looks prettier if you go ahead and just match your makeup to your skin. I know a lot of people do that, you know, um, contour with their bronzer. I mean, if you can get away with that, I think that's awesome. But see, I would still put makeup on. So it really doesn't do that much for me. Okay, so these, I've already told you, are my favorite tanning products. So what I do after that is I don't want to stain up my sheets. Of course, we use all white sheets, all white pillowcases. And I don't want to stain those any more than I have to. It, you know, they do get a little bit, but it washes out. So what I do, it's really cute. I put on my, I put on a bralette. Let me back up. So before I get dressed, you know, the whole while that I have been applying my tanner, I have had my little space heater on. And we got a really good one. I don't know if, where John got it, if he got it at Amazon or Walmart. But if I can find it, I'll link it for you because it's my favorite one that we've had. And we just got it in this house. And so that little heater really helps me feel like I'm drying off. You know, the tanner doesn't feel tacky. This one might feel a little tacky still because it's moisturizing. But this one, I really feel like it dries. This is my latest favorite. One I got is medium dark. So, and I find that if you will go ahead and get the darker version versus the lighter version, it's less orange. I think they put a little bit more of the green to make it a little bit more of an olive tone because if I go with the lighter ones, they seem to be more orangey. That's just another little tip. I've already been drying off a little bit in front of that heater. If I ever feel like my legs, like I want them to dry off anymore, I would just get the hair dryer out. I'm gonna get it out anyway because I'm gonna dry my hair eventually and I will, you know, with the heat, dry my legs off a little bit. But most of the time I don't need to do that because by the time I have stood in front of that heater, I put everything on first, then I like clean out my ears, I brush my teeth, I do my face stuff, you know, I'm shut in the bathroom the whole time. Then I go to get dressed. I wear just a bralette that's not white. I wear those pajamas, either the ones I got from Nordstrom or the ones I got from Walmart. And I wear socks and I take the socks and I tuck the bottom of my pajamas in the socks. They're the Barefoot Dream socks. And I keep that on until if it was cold enough, I would just sleep in it, but I can't sleep with those socks on. So I take them off and everything seems fine. It doesn't wear off. And my sheets have not been that bad. I know this is clear and it's not supposed to leave any residue and it is definitely not as bad as this or like one that is colored, but it does leave just a little bit. I've noticed it on my towels because we use white towels too but it comes right out in the wash. It's no big deal. So that is the night before I go to sleep. This does not have, this has a stronger tanner smell than this. This, I don't even know if I smelled this this morning. Usually in the mornings I can, you know, I'll, it'll, you know, the smell will remind me I did tanner the night before, but I don't remember smelling that this morning, but I might be getting used to it. No, it has like a clean, Almost just like a hand soap smell, really. After I get dressed, because like today I put on a bodysuit and skinny jeans, I didn't want to put on lotion before, I will take a body lotion. This is my latest fave, or the Hemp's H-E-M-P-Z. I like that one too. This one has a little bit of a glow, and it's a one woman owns this company. It's all clean, natural. I take some of this. I've already done it because I didn't want it to be wet and then put your moisturizer on. So I do not take a shower again the next day. I just don't find that that's necessary. Put this lotion on and, and then I wanted to show you this highlight from Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm just gonna take this Duo Fiber brush. This one's from Laura Mercier. And then you can put a little bit of, this is for the face and body. This does not really have any tan to it. Okay, I really don't have much decollete showing, but I wanted to show you. And then I usually don't do, I usually just do like the tops. I don't do much else. Because if you go down too far, it just, I don't know. I just don't think that you're supposed to sparkle all over. And I'm trying to think, is there anything else? That's pretty much it for me. Now what I'll do now is 
I will not do any tanning products whatsoever for probably four days or so, a couple more showers. Every shower though, I scrub. So it wears off kind of evenly. And then I will notice that it's almost gone and I'll notice my legs, the shins, maybe getting just a little bit speckly. Not bad at all. It wears off really nicely. I'll just tell myself it's time to do it again. So I would say once a week or maybe every third shower, something like that. If I take a bath, I usually don't do it after a bath. When I take a bath, it's a night that I'm not gonna wash my hair. I'm usually kind of like a business bath kind of person. I don't take a long drawn out bath. I usually put a face mask on, run some water, you know, with soap in it, get in there, wash up, and then I get out. So, I hope these little tips helped you. I know I am not a tanning expert, but this just seems to work. I just think, Oh, I put new nails on today. I just think that it um, does help your nails look pretty and everything else. And let me do a quick outfit of the day. I actually got a package yesterday and I hate to show you everything, but I'll show you two things because they're sitting right here. This, is this not gorgeous? It is beautiful. It is so much better than I thought it was gonna be. I have been thinking of getting one of those fancy schmancy totes, kind of like a Dior or a Chanel or the Fendi, because I'm always taking stuff back and forth. I'll, usually I'll have an extra pair of shoes in case I get tired of wearing heels and I want to like run in the grocery store. So I'll have like my Javianas or my Uggs or something. I always have something that I need to take to my mom's and like I might have something else in there. Like I can't even think of what else I would have. So I didn't want to spend that money until I tried it out and to see if I really would enjoy a tote. And I saw these last year come in several different prints and this is the one I chose. And look at how nice this is. I just opened it last night. It has like an outside pocket, but this is not quite as big as I thought it was gonna be. But look at how this is the kind you could really use as a tote and a purse. So, you know, whether I use it for one or the other, I love it. I think it is so pretty. And here, let's take the stuffing out and I'll show you. Oh my gosh, it even has like a dust bag thing in there. It's Vince Camuto. It was right at 128, a little over 100. It has like a pocket inside and I wanted one that had like a bottom like that so that it would sit down and it's just, I think it's so pretty. This with a maxi dress and your flip flops. I always think of Brandy Glanville. That's like part of her style is a big like tote, a good, flowy maxi dress and some good, just, I mean, any Javianas or your rainbow flip flops or something like that. Just so pretty. That is something I just got. And then these shoes, I got another pair of shoes too, but I'll show you those later. Or always follow me on Instagram because sometimes I get stuff and I just feel like I overload you guys on here sometimes. I don't want to be redundant. And so I just, you'll see me wearing them on Instagram. But I just grabbed these little Vince Camuto shoes. They got great reviews. I kept seeing them and they're nothing special. I mean, we've seen this so many times now, but I just figured I would probably wear these a lot. And so I'm gonna wear these today. We are gonna go out to eat, believe it or not. Probably the first time I've been out to eat in a long time. Hey, I've got on some of my favorite, favorite black jeans. They're A Goldie. And I believe they're called the Sophie. They're like the um, blue ones I have with the holes in the knees. And I got these from Oliver. And then I've got on that Amazon halter. I think I like it better than the Zara. One reason I like it is it kind of makes me look not so big up here. And I like that sometimes. And then the shoes that I have on, you just saw, are the Vince Camuto. Here, let me back up on this carpet. Maybe you can see. And then it's going to be in the 70s today, but it's not yet. So I'm just going to take this men's blazer, which is oversized, and wear this first. 
Okay, and then for accessories, I've got my Dylan Lex ring on. I think I'm gonna be able to wear it on this finger. I mean, it's not, like right now, I just put lotion on and I'm not hot, but with summer coming, I'm not gonna order the five. I'm gonna keep this six because I wore it the other day and it didn't come off. So, loving that. I think he's so pretty. <laughs> and it reminds me of, have you guys seen that? It's either a TikTok or a reel or something where the male, is it, I'm, I'm getting too confused. There's one where a male gorilla comes out in the road and he, then he lets his family go by while he stands there and he is such a badass. And then there's one where the big lion is walking down the road with all these cars and he's just huge and he has this great big mane and he's also such a badass. And I just, I love those. I love nature. I think it is just amazing. I hate the brutality of it, but like I can't watch all of those. Um, I remember my grandparents watching so it was like some kind of wildlife. I want to say Mutual of Omaha, and I don't know if that was it or if that was just Wild Kingdom. And then Mutual of Omaha, I think, was an ad on it. <laughs> I hope you guys, oh, and I didn't show you my earrings. These are the Jenny Bird little teeny Tonys. I love these when I just want something small. And then my watch. Is that it? That's it. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I am going to work on my editing a little bit more so i will see you i might not even post this until monday because i might use this video to practice a little bit more with thank you for your patience and i will see you next week bye bye